fish on with the wacky worm. Big pick, nice pickerel. Let's see, do we have, I have uh, pliers in here. Hold on a sec. I got them. Here, might help you. Okay. Pickerel. Nephew David Michael is on the boat with us this morning at uh, Mock Chuck Lake fishing misfits. First fish of the day. It's about uh, 8 30 or so is a pickerel. So first time I ever caught anything on a wacky rig. First time I'm trying a wacky rig. So I produced a fish. So there's a, there you go. All right. It's not giant, but at least it was a fish. Okay. Put her back in. Thanks a lot, man. Like I said, we are out here at uh, Mock Chunk Lake. Um, getting a little bit of a late start, but you know what? I found out the last time I was here, it doesn't matter too much because there's fish in this water. And... Uh, they will, they will strike. So, trying the old, I got a circle hook. I'm not sure if it's the right kind. Work for that fish. Then I have a rubber O-ring. And I'm just using this silver color because uh, it kind of looks like a minnow. It's silver with white on the bottom. So, I don't know if it's any good or not. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different colors. And David... He's fishing with a worm, Plastic rubber, a regular, regular night crawler. Uh, he's kind of bugging me right now to be a fishing misfit, uh, but he's a little too normal, and I'm not sure if he qualifies. So maybe if he acts up or falls in the water accidentally, you know that might <laughs> if I get it on film. If I get it on film. I'm going to bypass all the regular requirements okay. and get you right into the club, okay? All right. All right, we'll get back to you, folks. Fish on. What is that? That is a shiner. That is a shiner. Interesting. That's a nice size shiner, though. Damn. Damn. That is a nice size shiner. I didn't, I didn't realize they get that damn big. I've never seen this thing before. I'm pretty sure it's a shiner. I mean, it's basically a, like a carp, carp. carpy kind of fish, but it, I believe it's a shiner. Yeah, he's got some sort of wind here, it looks like. Well, maybe he was attacked by a you know, pickerel pick or big pickerel, if that was the case. Oh. Oh, that yeah. worked. Quick release. Okay, hold on a second. I got a sock fish. Oh man, you might have to work on that. Oh <laughs> shit. Got it off. Nice. Yeah. Okay. How often do you have? Have you caught one of those before? Uh Matthew I think did. At uh, the lake that we go to down there. I believe. Oh, yeah? yeah. I've never seen a fish like that in my life. Uh, uh, I believe it's a shiner. That's what I used to call them. Uh, if someone out there knows something that I don't know, which <laughs> there's, there's probably like millions of people under that category, uh, yeah, let me know what you know because uh, certainly would be nice to know what that is. I used to go down to uh, Hazel Park, you know, where Hazel Park meat packing. Well, it used to be a lake there that you can get into and you could fish it. And I would get like a bunch of red worms and uh, go down there as a kid and just sit and just catch fish like that all day long. And guess what? It's still a lot of fun. That and bluegills, you know. 
And, uh, you know, I wonder what the, that rubber worm represents to a fish, other than maybe it's some kind of, I mean, it doesn't even swim like a fish. You know what I mean? What the hell are they, what are they I mean, thinking? What the hell does that look like? Almost looks like an alien ship that'd be flying in the, in the sky. Maybe they just it so it just gets out of the area. Possibly. Possibly. So that shiner was caught on regular worm. Fish on. The waste of time fish. Bluegill. Bluegill. Let's get over here and look at it. That's a that's a whopper, is what it is. Do you swallow that? Yeah. Oh crap. There it is. Well, I'll cut. I'll cut now so we don't offend any of PETA people. What's it feel like? Pretty heavy. It's a bass. Husky jerk. Husky jerk comes through. First one on a husky jerk. Shit. First things first, I gotta get this one off. Give me that pliers if you don't mind. It's a little, it's like medium size, I guess. It's kind of fat. But... That's gonna fall off any time now. Come on. It fell off right at the last second. So it's a little bit of a dink, but not bad. It's a healthy looking fish and a little bit lighter than the other ones. If you notice, yeah. the smaller they are, the lighter they are. Yeah, that's the way it's easy to go. Husky jerk. Husky jerk caught that one. That's the first one on the husky jerk. See, I'm just fishing out here. This is right off the weed line because we're only like in uh, four and a half feet of water. Yeah. So. It doesn't the pound of bank doesn't really quite make that much sense. You're better off just fishing straight up out here, you know. Yeah. I hope that hopefully I caught that one. I, it's I got it on film. I just don't know if the angle of the camera was that good, but we'll see. That one wasn't one. Fish on. A little baby. A little, little bass. little dinky bass. Alright, I got a different angle. Right there. Hopefully, maybe the sun. Okay, the sun will be gleaming off of it a little bit differently. And you can see the, see that bird. See the, uh, right around there. Maybe you can see it. I'm going to try to get in a little closer. Maybe we can see the side of the bird a little bit. I don't know if you can see it up there now. Well, now you can see the whole bird almost. Yeah, but that's, it can't possibly do it justice. I know. But it's pretty big just being there. I mean, I wish I had a magnif I mean, uh, binoculars to see what the hell it looked like. Fish on. Oh, yeah. That's a bass, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the hook? Well, 
lost your worm. No, I didn't. It's oh, on my oh. arm. There you go, folks. Wacky worm. That's a little bit better fish. Yeah. I'm not. We're around here. Can I have those pliers? You don't often see. Can I grab those pliers for me? Thanks. They kind of. The hook's in the wrong place. They usually all hang out right around that side. Shit. I gotta grab this. Damn, that's a good hook set. That's one thing about this. This is like really hooking them nice. Wow, dude, that is a great hook. It's also a real aggressive strike, too. That, that helps a little bit. That's a little bit better than a dink. <laughs> He's trying to come back in. That was nice. And look at you just go back, feed it through, and voila, you're back to where you were. Now I threw the Rapala basically in the same place as that. Yeah. It didn't work. So there you have it. Another fish on the uh Another fish on the wacky rig. Oh, that's a nice bass, dude. Fish on. That's a nice one. Dude, that's a nice fish. Oh. That's a nice fish, dude. That's about the same size as the other one, I think. Yeah, but that's a nice fish. Looks like it was hooked before. See that little spot? Oh, yeah, maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know if you need that or not. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. Fucking hung on. Nice. Yeah. Right here. You're right. It's pretty much like you don't even know it's about to happen. Yeah. It's it's almost like it catches itself. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. All right. All right. Nice. I have no idea how close that was to not being him just falling off. Yeah, I believe it. See, that ain't the best hook for that, too. I don't. I think you need a little bit. I think that this one is what you want, but I don't think the hook, the end, the eye should be bent. You want the eye bent that yeah. way, but mine's bent this way, you know. But it worked. I mean, but I don't think that's I mean, that what was you the want. Most noticeable hit I had, and it totally got him. It's not yeah. I think you want an opener, a more open one like this, but you want the shank to be straight like yours.